In my Kali Linux machine, if I start the terminal, I can see on startup, I get the system information of my machine in the right and the logo in the left. In this video, you will be learning how to customize the boring terminal to look like this. So let's get started. After logging into your Kali Linux, open your terminal and you need to install a package called NeoFetch. So type the command sudo apt install NeoFetch space dash y and press enter. After NeoFetch is installed, you can simply start NeoFetch by typing NeoFetch in the terminal. As you can see, I get the output of the NeoFetch. Now let's make it so that when we start our terminal, we get this output. So to do that, you need to know which shell you're using. So to know which shell you're using, type the command echo space the dollar sign shell and press enter. I can see that I'm using the ZSH shell. So I have to type the command sudo space nano space from the home folder forward slash dot zshrc by any chance if you are using the bash shell then you need to type the command bash rc so since i'm using the zsh i will type zshrc and press enter when this file opens up scroll to the extreme bottom of the file and type the command neofetch and save the file with ctrl plus o at the same time in your keyboard and press enter to save and quit out of the file by ctrl plus x now if i close the terminal and start the terminal again i can see on startup i get this output now let's see how we can customize the new fetch so i will type the command sudo space nano space from the home folder forward slash dot config forward slash new fetch forward slash config dot conf and press enter and when the configuration file of new fetch opens up I can choose which information I want it to display. These are the information that is already displayed. If you do not want it to display some particular information, just add a hashtag in front of it. Now the memory information will not be displayed and save the file with Ctrl plus O and press enter and the file will be saved. After saving the file, if I open the terminal, I can see the memory information is now not displayed. These informations are disabled by default. So if you want to display some particular information, just remove the hashtag in front of it. So I want to display the battery information and I also want to display my local IP address. So I will remove the hashtag in front of this too and then save the file with Ctrl plus O and press enter. And if I open the terminal again, I can now see the battery information and my local IP address. Finally, let's see how we can change the default Kelly logo. So in the configuration file, scroll down until you see ASCII distro. Here. As you can see, I can see the line ASCII distro and it is set to auto. Since I'm using the Kali Linux machine, it is defaulted to the Kali logo. But if I want to change the logo from Kali to something else, then change auto to whichever you want it to change to. Suppose if I choose Ubuntu, so I will type Ubuntu here, save the file with Ctrl plus O and press enter. Now if I open the terminal again, I can see the Ubuntu logo and the color has also changed. Now let me do arch, so I will type arch here and save the file and open my terminal again i can now see the arch logo you can choose any of the logo from up here just copy the name of the logo and paste it here and the new logo will be displayed so this is just a simple tutorial on new fetch if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kelly linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching